Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to install ICE on XI. Go to Cisco.com, then click on Support, select Security, look for Identity Service Engine, and choose Download, then select Download Options. You can check this link below on the description. On the following screen, you will see the available versions, which can be dedicated versions for large, small, or medium deployments. It will be depend on the log retention period, the size of your network, and the ICE features that will be in it. Let's go to download the version, click on Accept License Agreements. It could take some minutes. Meanwhile, let's go to see the information about the OVA template reservations. As you saw, I downloaded the evaluation version. It means the installation will take the following resources. I will share this link below on the description of this video. On the other hand, we can read in these sentences the amount of hard disks that the implementation will take for certain specific scenarios. Ok, it's time to install ICE on Bingware XI. Click on Virtual Machines. Click on Create Virtual Machine. Select the second option. Upload your file. Configure a name. Choose your data store. Now click on Thick. Click on X. Choose Finish. This will take several minutes. Now let's go to open the console in order to access to the CLI. Tie setup to start the configuration about your network settings. Enter the host name of your device, then configure the IP address that your device will have and configure the network max too. Then configure the IP address of your gateway and it's optional to configure IPv6. In my case, I won't use it. Now enter your domain name. Now configure the IP address of your DNS server. You will have the option to add more than one IP address, but in my case I only will use only one. Now configure the IP address or the FQDN of your NTP server. As with the DNS configuration we will have the option to add more than one. Then enter your time zone. I will share the available configurations regarding the time zones on the description of this video. Then you will be able to enable the SSH service. If you want to manage your device through CLI, I suggest activating this. Now configure your username and your password. Finally, the services will bring up. We should hold on some minutes. Now the installation has been completed. Let's go to enter our username and password. Anti show application status eyes in order to check the status of the services. Maybe you should type this command multiple times until the processes have been completed.
And finally, we will open our eyes. Alright, this is all. Thank you for watching this video.